Hello everyone, I'm back after the episode I recorded earlier. I've now achieved making what we set out to accomplish work, which was having the model move her head back and forth in an animation that we created in Blender. Now, several things happened in the interim since I was with you last, and that is that um, we discovered that one of the items of clothing the model had on, that was a roll um, topped blouse, um, was causing some problems and would not show up as a material or a texture. So what I did was substitute and make human another uh, top that you could see here on the left side of the screen. And uh, that seems to have worked. The Methodology I used was to first go into Make Human, create a new uh, top, put it on, and then export that into um, Blender as an MHX2 file, which I subsequently opened then in Blender. In Blender, I was able to then um, have the head rotate back and forth, and again, just so I could see it done, and then saved that file and exported it as an FBX file. At that point, uh, the files had everything in it that was necessary, except one key thing, which were the textures of the model. And that's everything colored that you see over here on the left side. Now, it turns out, and this is a very important thing, to say that those textures were all exported into a folder. And that folder was called Textures. That was located in exactly the same place as the FBX file was exported to. Therefore, remember this, when you export from Blender the FBX, place it in a nice place where you want it to be such as within the Unity project where you want the FBX file to be read. As it turns out, if you do that and export directly into the Unity, say for example assets file or a um, subfolder of that file, the FBX file will be read automatically and you will have the export right there. However, that being said, you do not have the textures. So you must go back where you initially saved it. And if you save it within the file, um, say the assets file, you'll find it right there. So um, it's very convenient to do the export in that way. But it is also, you can screw up pretty easily by just exporting to some other place and then moving things around. So. Don't do that. Export to the Unity file somewhere under Assets for the project that you're working on, and you'll be a much happier camper. Well, once you do that, then it's pretty straightforward. Here's Jesse Head that I exported right into here, and you can see it has all the stuff in it that you have about the model that we had in Blender at that point. Now. There are four tabs which you have to deal with. One is you need to change the size to something else. If you do, well, you can change it right here with a scale factor. You need, for every file that is imported of this sort, you need to make it a humanoid. It comes just as generic. But if you make it as a humanoid and use create from this model and first configure and then apply, um, that's a first step. The second step is the animation. We had one clip that we wanted to put in. So what I did was to create something called Jesse Head Controller. That was by going into this uh, directory, Assets, and saying Create. And that creating a, a new animator, animator controller um, 
and I changed its name to Jesse Head Controller, I could then take that and just bring it over to this window, the Animator window, and it makes an immediate connection. So Jesse Head Controller runs instantly after you press the play button. Now, going back to Jesse Head again, there's another key item here. You have to go to the Materials uh, folder, and as I said before, all the materials, which were really textures in this case, were uh, put into a folder called Textures. I could then say Use Material, um, Use Materials, and then Extract the Textures, and they would be extracted and put into here. So the key thing is you can see that um, the textures that were generated through Blender are found here. These are all PNG files. So you could have them anywhere you wanted on your computer and you could drag them in here one by one. But if you use the folder and just say extract from that particular textures folder, it goes right in here. All right, so having said all that long amount, you can see now what Jessie, or the model as we say, looks like with her head moving around. Pretty good, isn't it? And of course, at this point, you can change the animations, have one come after another, have some going in parallel, changing when you hit a particular key, and so forth. More work to be done to get that all to work, but we've made the first step and gotten something to work here. So, we'll talk to you next time.